Princess Sophia and the Little Match Girl Once upon a time, in the magical kingdom of Enchantia, there lived a young and kind-hearted princess named Sophia. With her sparkling blue eyes and flowing chestnut hair, she was loved by everyone in the kingdom. However, what set her apart from other royalty was her compassion and desire to help those less fortunate. One chilly winter evening, just as the first snowflakes began to fall, Princess Sophia was gazing out of the grand castle window. The twinkling lights of the village below seemed to beckon her. Despite the warmth and luxury of her castle, she often thought about the villagers and their simple, sometimes difficult lives. Tonight, her heart felt especially heavy. Why do you look so sad, dear? Asked Clover, her rabbit companion, hopping up beside her on the window seat. I'm not sad, Clover, Sophia replied with a sigh. I'm just worried about the people in the village. It's so cold tonight, and I wonder if everyone has enough to eat and stay warm. Just then, Sophia noticed a small, frail figure moving through the snowy streets below. A little girl, no older than eight, was wandering from house to house, trying to sell matches. She was dressed in tattered clothes, her cheeks red from the cold, and her breath visible in the frosty air. Oh, Clover, look at that poor girl. She's out in the cold all alone, Sophia exclaimed, her heart aching for the child. We must do something to help her. Determined, Sophia bundled up in her warmest cloak and set out into the night, with Clover and her magical amulet glowing softly. The amulet had the power to call upon her animal friends and even transport her to different places. Tonight, it would lead her to the little match girl. The village was bustling with preparations for the winter festival. Lanterns were being hung, and the aroma of baked goods filled the air. Yet, amidst the festivities, Sophia's attention was solely on finding the girl. She finally spotted her, sitting alone on a bench, her tiny hands barely managing to strike a match for warmth. Hello there, Sophia said gently, kneeling beside her. What's your name? The girl looked up, her eyes wide with surprise. I'm Lily, she replied in a small voice. I'm Princess Sophia. It's so cold out here, Lily. Why are you selling matches in this weather? I have to, Lily said, her voice trembling. If I don't sell these matches, we won't have any money for food or firewood. Sophia's heart broke at Lily's words. She knew she had to do something more than just offer a few kind words. Come with me to the castle. We'll make sure you and your family have everything you need. But I have to sell these matches, Lily insisted, looking down at the nearly empty box in her hands. You won't need to sell matches anymore, Sophia promised, taking Lily's hand in hers. We'll make sure you're safe and warm. With that, Sophia led Lily through the village and back to the castle. The journey was filled with wonder for Lily, who had never seen such grandeur. The castle doors opened wide, and the warmth of the hearths inside welcomed them. Queen Miranda, Sophia's mother, greeted them in the grand hall. Who is this, Sophia? She asked kindly, noticing the little girl by her daughter's side. This is Lily, mother. She was out in the cold selling matches. Can she stay with us? Sophia asked, her eyes pleading. Queen Miranda smiled warmly. Of course, Lily can stay. We must always help those in need. That night, Lily was given a warm bath, new clothes, and a hearty meal. She slept in a soft bed, warmer and more comfortable than she had ever known. Sophia stayed by her side, reading her stories of magical lands and brave princesses until she fell asleep. The next day, Sophia took Lily to meet the villagers, introducing her to the kind hearts who could help her family. The villagers, inspired by Sophia's compassion, offered food, clothing, and wood to keep Lily's home warm. Sophia's friends, including the ever-curious Amber and wise James, joined in, organizing a charity drive to ensure no one in Enchantia went cold or hungry again. As days turned into weeks, Lily became a beloved member of the castle family. 
She attended lessons with Sophia, learned to read and write, and discovered the joy of being a child without the burden of survival. She laughed and played with Clover and Sophia's other animal friends, her cheeks now rosy with health and happiness, not the bitter cold. One evening, as Sophia and Lily sat by the fire, Sophia turned to her new friend. Lily, you know you never have to sell matches again. You can stay here as long as you want. Lily smiled, her eyes shining with gratitude. Thank you, Sophia. You've given me and my family a new life. I'll never forget your kindness. Sophia hugged her tightly. We're family now, Lily and family always takes care of each other. With the winter festival approaching, Sophia had an idea. She wanted to do something special to celebrate Lily and to remind everyone of the importance of kindness and compassion. She decided to organize a grand feast in the castle, inviting all the villagers, especially those in need. On the night of the festival, the castle was aglow with lights and laughter. Tables were laden with delicious food, and the great hall was filled with music. Sophia stood before the crowd, holding Lily's hand. Welcome, everyone, Sophia began, her voice clear and bright. Tonight, we celebrate not just the winter festival, but also the spirit of giving and helping one another. This is Lily, and her story reminds us that no one should be left out in the cold. Together, we can make Enchantia a place where everyone is cared for. The villagers cheered, their hearts warmed by Sophia's words and the sight of Lily, happy and safe. That night, the kingdom of Enchantia felt more united than ever before. As the festivities continued, Sophia felt a sense of fulfillment and joy. She knew that this was just the beginning. She had learned that true royalty lies in the heart and that with compassion and action, they could change lives. The days turned into months, and the bond between Sophia and Lily grew stronger. Lily's family was doing well thanks to the support from the castle and the villagers. They had a warm home, enough food, and a future filled with hope. One crisp spring morning, as Sophia and Lily walked through the blossoming gardens, Lily looked up at Sophia with a thoughtful expression. Sophia, do you think I can help others the way you helped me? Of course you can, Sophia replied, smiling warmly. Helping others is not about being a princess. It's about having a kind heart and taking action. You already have both. Inspired by Sophia's words, Lily began to find small ways to give back to the community. She helped in the village school, sharing her newfound love for reading and writing with other children. She organized small collections of food and clothes for families in need. And with Sophia's guidance, she even started a little garden to grow vegetables for those who couldn't afford them. Lily's efforts did not go unnoticed. The villagers admired her spirit and kindness, and she became a symbol of hope and resilience in Enchantia. She was no longer the little match girl struggling to survive, but a beacon of light, spreading warmth and care wherever she went. Sophia watched Lily's transformation with pride and happiness. She knew that the magic of Enchantia was not just in the spells and enchantments, but in the hearts of its people. Together, they had created a community where no one was left behind. Years passed, and Lily grew into a confident and compassionate young woman. She continued to work alongside Sophia, making Enchantia a better place for all. Their friendship remained as strong as ever, rooted in the shared experiences and the lessons they had learned. One evening, as they sat by the fire, reminiscing about the past, Lily turned to Sophia. Do you remember the night you found me in the snow, trying to sell matches? Of course I do, Sophia replied, her eyes twinkling. It was the night our lives changed forever. Lily nodded, a soft smile on her lips. Thank you, Sophia. You taught me that even in the darkest times, there is always hope and kindness. You showed me that we can make a difference, no matter how small we are. And you taught me, Sophia said, that true magic comes from the heart. 
Together, we created a story of love and compassion that will be remembered in Enchantia for generations. As the fire crackled and the stars twinkled outside, Sophia and Lily knew that their story was far from over. They had built a legacy of kindness and care, a fairy tale come to life. And they knew that as long as there was love in their hearts, the magic of Enchantia would never fade. And so, Princess Sophia and Lily, the little match girl who had found a new life, continued their journey, hand in hand, spreading warmth and light throughout the kingdom. The End Morale of the Story Compassion and kindness have the power to transform lives. By extending a helping hand to those in need, we can create a community where everyone is valued and cared for. True royalty lies in the heart, and the greatest magic comes from acts of love and generosity. Stories sweet goodnight rhyme. Good night, dear child. Rest your head in dreams where kindness freely spreads. With hearts so warm and spirits bright, we share our love, a guiding light. Just like Sophia, brave and true, with caring hearts, there's much to do. In every soul, a spark does gleam of hope, of love, a wondrous dream. So close your eyes and drift away. In dreams of kindness, find your way. For in our hearts, the magic stays, and love will guide us through our days. Good night, sweet one, the world is bright. With love and kindness, sleep tonight. Thank you for joining us on this magical journey through Princess Sophia and the Little Match Girl's adventure. We hope you enjoyed the tale filled with compassion, kindness, and a sprinkle of magic. Remember to give that like button a friendly tap and hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on more fantastic tales and heartwarming stories. As we bid you farewell, we wish you sweet dreams filled with enchantment and joy. May your days be filled with the magic and warmth that you found in our story. Until we meet again for another round of storytime fun, take care and may your heart be as kind as Sophia's. Good night.